Dunkin' Pumpkin, also known as Katie, and I am a 22-year-old part-time reseller. Junkin' has been in my blood ever since I was a wee little baby, and it's just turned into a hobby of mine. So on this channel, you will be following me around on my reselling journey. We will be going to different thrift stores and different garage sales, and we will be treasure hunting, I like to call it. And once we find these treasures, we will be marking up the price a little bit and reselling them back on the platforms such as eBay and Facebook Marketplace. So if you like that kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm excited to be here. I'm new here, so my first video is not going to be the greatest probably, but I'd like it if you guys subscribe, stick along, and grow with me. So in this first video, I'm excited to show you my very first thrift haul that we will be flipping back onto eBay. I got about seven things. Very excited to show you. And over the weekend, I had two items sell that I listed that were just laying around the house. Not much profit, but all profit. So I'm excited to show you these things later on towards the end of the video. And now, on to the haul. The first thing we have in our haul today is a bad buy, so we're not really going to talk about it too much. It's a book I bought for a dollar, and I have it listed for $15 free shipping. It's from the 1930s, nothing special about it. I just bought it because it looked nice, to be honest, and now I regret it. The next thing is a book from the same garage sale. Now, this one's a little cooler. It does have water damage, and that's why I got it for free. But when I looked up comps, there was one sold for $90. I was pretty shocked, but the person relisted the book, so the buyer never ended up paying. Since mine does have water damage, I have it listed for $20 free shipping since it will go medium mail. And I'm hoping it'll go fairly quickly. The next thing we have, I think, is pretty neat. It's a Smokey the Bear comic book from 1969. Um, not the greatest shape as you can tell it's ripping up there and the the spine is falling apart but anyway the comics and everything are still great I seen comps on this for $25 free shipping I picked it up for a dollar at a garage sale but mine is list listed for 15 free shipping since it does have a little bit more damage than the others I seen still pretty neat this thing is a great bread and butter bolo if you can pick them up cheap it's called a fiesta go along and there's a boy version and a girl version and um they sell for about 20 25 dollars free shipping i paid two dollars for this at a goodwill the next thing i think is pretty neat it's a lot of 80 matches i believe if i remember right from Indiana. There's some political ones, some hotel ones, some casino ones, etc. But I have them listed on $25 on auction because there's a couple neat ones in here. And some of them can be collectible and I don't know too much about them. But I'll show you a couple of the cool ones on top. So we got a Disney one. Pretty neat. We got a Stardust one, pretty neat, and I love true crime, shout out to my true crime followers, but anyway, I just thought this was pretty neat, and if I didn't say it, I picked these up for $4 at a garage sale. My next item, I picked up for $2 at a garage sale. Nothing special, to be honest. The only reason I picked it up is because these vintage mushroom decor is going crazy right now. People are buying it up. And if you have any Mary Mushroom, I suggest get it listed. So like I said, I picked this up for $2 at a garage sale, and I will be reselling it for $25. Free shipping. Okay, call me a weirdo, but I like weird stuff. I picked this up for a dollar at a garage sale. It's a hairnet made of 
real human hair from 1927. So, I, like I said, I only picked this up because I like weird stuff. Um, the hairnet is still in here. Some weirdo is going to buy it up. I have it listed for $15 free shipping. The next thing I bought here is a licensed branded jersey from hot it's a hockey jersey i picked it up for five dollars at goodwill and i expect to get about 30 free shipping not too bad and here we go we got another jersey i picked up at goodwill this one's a cleveland jersey This one's for baseball, and this one I expect to get about 55 free shipping out of it, and so not too bad for a $5 pickup at Goodwill. Woohoo! So, yeah, that's it for my first haul, and on to the things that sold. Like I said earlier, it wasn't too much. Um, stuff I had listed that was just laying around my house. I sold this Rubik's Cube keychain, and it's actually movable. It's vintage, um, movable, so you can still solve it. But this sold for $8 plus shipping. And then I have this old Wii game, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Yeah, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And it sold for $8 free shipping. Like I said, not the greatest profits, but all profits since these were items just laying around the house. But that's it for my first YouTube video and... Hi, so I'm sorry the video cut out, but to basically to wrap it all up, I just want to tell you guys how appreciative I really am that you guys stuck through this whole video. I know it's probably not the greatest video, me being a new YouTube creator, we got the mumps that we got to smooth out. I personally don't know how to video edit really well and I also am a little little awkward still so we have those bumps to smooth out but until then I'm excited to see you guys are following me and sticking around with me and growing with me. It really means a lot that you guys are helping me follow my dreams. If you guys will just comment below and tell me how I'm doing, if you have any tips and tricks, suggestions, etc. But last things last, if you like anything that you've seen in my haul today, it is available on my eBay store at Katie's underscore trading underscore post. That is Katie's underscore trading underscore post. But thanks. See ya.